So I've been asked to answer a few questions um, for the DNAD for the white pencil. Uh, I'm going to read them out in no particular order. So, are brands evil or can they change the world? Um, I think they're both. I think in today's society, brands are behaving like people. And I know good people, and I know some right arseholes. Um, can they change people's lives? I think that is the question that's happening now. They can play a more significant part in people's lives. And so they can choose to be good or evil. But I think what has changed is their impact in changing people. Which product or innovation can significantly change the social agenda? For me, I think that the most important thing at the moment is generosity. It's not a brand or a thing. It's people being generous to each other. It's like a good Samaritan. Um, one of the campaigns that touched me and continues to inspire me was the buy a Coke, give a Coke, where something that's so large, a corporation so massive, can do something so small that can affect such great change. So I buy a Coke and I give a Coke. It's a very human thing to do. And I think that generosity begets generosity. So, you know, it's like a yawn. If you see a proper yawn, everybody has to yawn. If you really see something genuinely great generosity, then you, ha you feel compelled to act in the same way. You can't be a dick. I think that we're going to see an increasing, I hope we see it increasing. Um, but yeah, generosity. So I really believe design can affect social change. I think it has a responsibility to do so. Uh, how much we can engage people's lives rather than let the people engage each other and work through brands. Um, I believe that gone is the day when people celebrate creativity in a way that is isolated or an endpoint. I think we have a right to hope design helps bring, bring out the best in people. And that's, I think, if we can do that with everybody, you know, it doesn't matter if it's small steps, at least it'll be all going in the same direction.